Hello, I'm Rich Dean with West Coast Collector Cars in Oregon. And today, I've got a very cool 1964 Chevrolet C10 half-ton long bed pickup to show you. Now, this truck has been completely restored and it's got a lot of upgrades, a lot of amenities. And I want to tell you, it's sitting on a 1986 Chevy Silverado chassis, half-ton chassis. So you've got a modern ride, rides nice, just goes down the road nice and smooth, nice steering, nice brakes, plus all the amenities. So let's go around here and I'm gonna show you this truck. I think you're gonna like it. Uh, finished off in what's called ultra blue metallic. You can probably see some of the metallic there. You can see some depth. It's a base coat, clear coat paint. And uh, it's also got, it's a two-tone. So you've got this uh, medium gray metallic for the cab as well. And the front bumper, which I'll show you in a little bit, uh, that's like uh, that, that's the same gray, and then it's got a lighter silver, uh, kind of subtle pinstripe to separate the cab uh, from the top of the cab to the bottom of the cab. But very nice truck, very well aligned, uh, and extremely well appointed. So uh, what we've got here for wheels and tires, uh, these are Vision Legend uh, Chrome five spokes. These are 18s up front, 20s in the rear. Uh, of course, uh, power front disc brakes, you can see there. <clears throat> uh, this has a McGowie's brand, which is a, a high-end product uh, lowering suspension kit. So it's been lowered about five inches in the front and about seven in the back to give it this perfect stance. But here's the thing. I can't get this thing to rub. It just will not rub, which is nice. You can use this truck for a daily driver. You can use it for a car show. You can... I hate to say it, you could haul gravel in it if you wanted to. I mean, it's just, it's so diverse and versatile. You're, it's a really cool truck. Um, you'll notice uh, the shut lines are nice here and really most everywhere. All the glass is new. Uh, it's tinted from a, it's a factory tint. In other words, it's not a film. It's actually tinted. I'll have to show you the side windows uh, when we take it for a spin in here in a little bit because they're power windows. Interior's been completely restored, nicely painted. Everything works. Everything works. Um, the seat was uh, is from a '86, the '86 uh, Silverado as well, but it's all been uh, rebuilt and recovered. Very nice. Let me show you back here. See all nicely carpeted and whatnot. Seat belts for three up front. All of the weather stripping, including the the felt's in here, replaced. Take you on the interior here, show you inside. Door panels, nicely covered. This is your power windows. Uh, you can see your rockers up here are nice. New carpeting. I should tell you that this truck has uh, air conditioning as well. Hurricane air conditioning and heater system, and it works great. Uh, they utilize your factory original controls. So, you know, from the inside, other than the vents, you can't really tell, but it works excellent. Uh, this truck cruise control, if you can believe that, <laughs> and it works. Uh, take you back here. Uh, now the bed uh, is a long, it's a long box and it's been uh, fully rhino lined or bed lined. Very clean, you'll notice no damage here whatsoever. It's a big back window truck and the tint on it again, you know, is uh, laminate inside. It is not uh, just a film. There's your 20 inch rims there. Dual exhaust with uh, Flow Masters exiting in front of the rear tire. Has a nice sound to it. We'll get to that here in a little bit. Now back here, uh, these are LED tail lights. And you'll notice on, on trucks of this vintage, they had a, a cable or chains really, and then they had like a little sheath that went around it. And then, you know, when you lower the bed, you'd have those chains that would hold the, you know, your uh, tailgate in place. Well, 
This one's been switched out to these hidden ones and these nice cables. A little cleaner look, all filled in very nicely. Back here, you just have this roll pan here, so your bumper list back here, and check it out. You've got a hidden hitch, and that's for your wiring. So if you wanted to, you know, pull an ATV, or if you wanted to, you know, pull a little trailer or something with it, vintage trailer, what have you, this truck will do it. Very nice. Clean, long, nice bed. Clean metal. No rust. No rust in this truck. In fact, let me take a moment to tell you a little bit about the website, westcoastcollectorcars.com, where I've got pictures of the truck, but additionally I've got pictures of the undercarriage, and you'll want to see that too. Uh, kind of detailed under there, but you know, it's not like a concourse showpiece under there, but very clean, very nice. They did an excellent job with this truck. Uh, the power plant is a 350. Uh, four barrel. It's got uh, HEI electronic ignition. Uh, the transmission is a 700R4, which is the automatic with overdrive. We all love that. And the differential is a 10 bolt, uh, 373 gears. So you got the perfect combo. If you want to drive this, like I say, you know, if you want to drive this on a daily basis, back and forth to work, and you want a classic truck, this is it. I mean, you can take this thing anywhere. It's just an excellent, excellent truck. Let me take you on the interior of this side. You got a completely new Marshall gauge pack here, six gauges. Aftermarket stereo has Bluetooth capability, of course, CD player and whatnot. Grant steering wheel, tilt column, again, cruise control. And you got the updated wiring uh, kit, which uh, is, uh, you know, has the fuses that, you know, the, the little, the newer fuses, they aren't the glass fuses. All the weather stripping replaced when the truck was painted. Just clean everywhere you look. Doors close nicely. Show you up front here, they kind of went with that mono look, you know, with the, the painted bumpers and painted grill, so you don't have chrome up here, but very nice, very clean, looks excellent. Uh, as you can see, that's a big hood, and it does close very easily, very nicely. Let's get to that 350 here. So what you've got here, uh, you know, Chevy 350 now, it's to my understanding, this has been rebuilt, and it was rebuilt about 4,000 miles ago. Now, the complete build on the truck, you got about 2,155 miles on the build of the truck. Uh, the engine's got about 4,000 on it total. So, yeah, I mean, this thing go anywhere. Starts up, fast idles in the morning, settles into a nice idle, you're ready to go. That's your air conditioning there. Uh, power brakes. Got a nice big radiator up front here. Air conditioning condenser. This is part of your cruise control. This is a very nice, if not exceptional, build. A lot of time, a lot of effort, a lot of money was spent uh, on the build of this truck. All painted nicely up under here. And uh, again, you know, you've got this lining here. Now I want to show you something. Here's part of the reason that you're not going to rub. Look at this. This is a little, kind of a little bit of a tub here. Very subtle, very nice. Good thinking on that. Uh, so you can run big tires, which this has 235s on the front, 255s out back. Not extremely big, but they, they look right and they, they drive nice and true. Uh, it's, just, it's a great truck. And here's another thing. <laughs> this truck doesn't leak anything. It doesn't leak any oil on the ground. It doesn't leak any you know, power steering fluid or antifreeze or any of that. It's just a nice, clean, dry truck. So... 
probably not going to hit every point of this truck because there is so much to it. But what I'd like to do now is I'll hop in, uh, start it, you get to hear it run. It's got a nice throaty sound to it. I'll just take it for a little spin around the parking lot so you kind of get a sense of what it looks like, uh, you know, moving under its own power. You know, we can't go on a big cruise or anything with it, but uh, I can't say enough about the truck. It's just done so well. It'll Anybody would love it. It's great. sure I showed you those uh, power windows uh, and actually wired correctly it's not on a constant like a lot of them are this is done properly you have to have the key on in order to utilize them so you got no draws on this on this truck whatsoever as well very clean nicely finished off in here uh, you know easy to read gauges you got this nice smaller steering wheel very easy to steer power steering uh, good nice power brakes yeah, it's great. All the lights work, the turn signals work, the wipers work. Well, everything works. All the accessories on the truck work, and it's got a lot. So, very cool truck. Uh, but if I can answer any further questions for you about this 1964 Chevy C10, please don't hesitate to give me a call. Again, my name is Rich Dean, and this is West Coast Collector Cars. My number is 503-851-6763, and thank you for watching today.